Eyewitness News, this video coming up tough to watch. It shows a father having a seizure in a pool and he starts to go under the surface. His teen daughter and friend rush in to save his life. That family is sharing their story tonight exclusively with Eyewitness News reporter Dan Koob. It's a family's worst nightmare. Very scary. It was actually sickening to watch. Nick Merlino was cooling off Friday afternoon in his Vetner backyard pool after a lengthy workout. The father of two with type 1 diabetes was not wearing his blood sugar sensor. For the first time in his life, he had a seizure, blacked out, and went under. I remember coming out and just stepping in the pool, and that's it. That's all my memory tells me. His 15 year old daughter Lauren and her friend Julia were home and noticed a problem. We saw him and he was just in the pool at first and then we looked out again like a couple like two minutes later and it looked like he was like seizing in the pool. You can see in their security footage, Lauren finds her father unresponsive and pulls his head out of the water while Julia dials 911. I never use this. Abra Merlino shows us her reaction when she pulled into her driveway and sees a police car sprinting through her front door and diving into the pool after she realizes the sirens are coming to save her husband. It was very scary. Uh, I didn't know exactly what had happened prior to me seeing him like that, but I knew he was breathing. Um, his eyes were open, but he was unresponsive. Nick was pulled out and came to unharmed. His blood sugar levels shortly restored. I watched all three cameras at the same time just for a perspective. And it is, it's a pretty amazing thing they did. The two girls. I mean, I guess so. I just did what I had to do. Because so I went I'll tell you what I've done. A family's worst nightmare turned into a happy ending thanks to two young women. I think you don't last long in, underwater in the heat. And that's how I thought, you know. I would have died if she didn't come. In Ventnor, Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News.